Hello friends, welcome to Wondastic Tech. Today we'll see how bananas are harvested and processed. Let's dive into it. After preparing the field, the farmers arrange the banana seedlings in stages on the cultivator. After planting the seedlings in the soil with the cultivator, two farmers straighten the stems of the seedlings from the top of the cultivator. Fine spray or mist is used to keep the soil constantly moist. As a result, the seeds get enough water. Depending on the banana plant variety, it takes 9 to 20 months for these banana seedlings to grow into mature banana plants. Some varieties mature faster than others. A farmer cuts the tip of the banana bud so that the cluster comes out. Then, when the tip of the female flowers comes out, the farmers cut some of its parts with cuttings so that the cluster of bananas comes out very quickly. Bunches develop into full-fledged bananas. At this time, the farmers cut the big bananas separately. Young bananas are left on the rachis to grow. Then, they cut off the flower at the end of the rachis. Banana Leaf Disease The main diseases affecting leaves are Xanthomanus wilt, Fusarium wilt, black and yellow Sigatoka. These diseased leaves are removed by the workers. Dimethoate, diazinon, and acephate are sprayed on infected plants and suckers by ground spray machines and aerial agricultural aircraft. Also, workers spray methyl dimeton 25EC 0.05% separately. These pesticides are effective in controlling pests such as aphids, thripes, and mites that commonly infest banana plants. They work by disrupting the nervous system of the insects, ultimately leading to their death. For large agricultural areas, a skilled and efficient harvesting team is essential. First, they measure the size of the banana and confirm the ripeness of the banana. It's a bunch of bananas. It is an adult banana tree. Not only that, but it is from the sides of fully grown banana plants that suckers usually grow. This is the fastest growing banana plant inside the sucker. Workers carefully cut each bunch of bananas from the plant alias. They ensure that the cut is clean to avoid damage to the fruit. Then the workers carried bunches of cut bananas on their shoulders and went to the transport area where there is line transport. To the hook of this rope, the workers tie bunches of bananas tightly. Next, these bunches of bananas go to the washing area, where workers spray the bananas very finely with water. As a result, both the germs and dirt stuck in the banana are washed away. Another worker then sticks the bananas together so that they are not damaged. So put the soft cotton paper inside each row of bananas. In remote areas where heavy machinery cannot be used, a bunch of bananas are harvested using this method. In addition, this method requires less time and labor. Generally, there are banana factories around the banana fields. Because bananas are perishable, therefore to maintain their quality, processing is required as soon as possible. They are sent directly from the field to the factory through a rope line. After entering the factory, the workers first perform three tasks, which is to remove the soft cotton paper from the bunch of bananas, measure the size of the bananas, and thoroughly clean the bananas again with water spray. Next, an expert cuts a banana from a bunch of bananas to confirm its freshness. Then begins the stage of final washing these bananas. Here, these workers cut the big bunch of bananas into small bunches and throw them in clean water. They then proceed to gently place the small bunches into clean water, ensuring that they are thoroughly clean before further processing.
Using scissors, workers divide banana bunches submerged in water into two, three, or more sections and make their stems narrower. Then these bananas are filled by the workers in the tray and when the specified weight is confirmed, the bananas are taken to the packaging line. Now we will see how these bananas are packed in the factory. This worker is placing bananas in certain rooms on the ceiling line. As a result, when these bananas go through the ceiling machine, the bananas are packed without any damage. gives a kind of chemical liquid on the cut stem of the banana so that there is no infection with the cut part. The company's sealed bananas then come to the factory's container packaging room where workers fill paper containers with these sealed bananas. First, workers take a large polythene. Bananas are placed in the first row and covered with polythene and then in the second row and again covered with the same polythene. Then, these workers take the air out of the polythene through a vacuum machine. Now, we'll see how banana chips are made in the factory from these bananas. In another part of the factory, the peel of these bananas is manually removed by the factory workers. As a result, what remains is the edible white part called the pulp. These apron-clad workers press the white part of the banana into the grinder machine. As a result, those white areas look exactly like this. Then they are taken to the frying area of the factory and fried in hot oil. Later, these banana chips move through the conveyor line to the packaging area of the factory where workers carefully fill the containers with chips. On the other hand, banana pulp is cut into small pieces without grinding and fried directly in hot oil. These banana chips are then fed through a conveyor into a rotating disc. As a result, the oil on the chips is extracted and the chips are completely dry. Then, these chips are run through the mixing machine to further enhance the flavor. Consequently, in this case, factory workers help arrange the chips on the line. Then these chips go to the packaging room of the factory through the conveyor. This packaging room has a packaging machine based on artificial intelligence. Its function is to automatically measure the weight of the chips and fill the existing polyethylene chip packets with the chips inside the eyelid. When these banana chip packets are filled, the workers collect those packets and fill them in paper containers. The containers are then stamped with the company seal, date of manufacture, expiry date, and serial number. Then workers manually tape the mouths of these containers. After the containers are taped, they are stacked and prepared for transportation or storage. This manual taping process ensures that the contents of the containers remain secure and protected during handling and transit. Now these bananas and banana chips are ready for market sale and export. Thanks for joining us on this fascinating journey through the banana processing world. If you found this video informative, please subscribe for more exciting content.